me just recap on how to use uh, the craft knife. Um, the craft knife, it, you have a safety lock, which is along here, which you can slide it to the side. And it's very dangerous to walk around with the um, craft knife still out, okay? So make sure you, all, whenever you go anywhere, just make sure you close it up and you lock it up like so, okay? Um, and when you're using it, you don't need to take it all the way out like this. You only need to use um, about one bar. So you can see there's little bars along here. So sometimes you need about two or one bars out and then you just lock it like this. And that way it stops it, the craft knife from going inside and outside, okay? Um, you always use a metal ruler when using a craft knife. Uh, this helps to protect you from um, getting a craft knife moving towards your hands because it's quite a raised kind of metal ruler. Um, also, it stops uh, it from the craft knife from damaging your metal ruler. Um, you always need a safety mat. This helps to protect your uh, table surfaces and also protect you so that it helps to give you that bit of control in the way the movement uh, goes. Okay. So I will stick it right to the corner like this so that way uh, there is no uh, wasted space around the end. Unfortunately, I don't have a glue stick so there will be some movement. But because you guys use the glue stick, um, your template shouldn't be moving around when um, cutting. Um, remember to read the instruction on this box. I want you guys to measure because I want you to get used to the idea that every single measurement really does matter. If one uh, line is out by an extra millimeter or a centimeter, it's going to affect the whole structure of your house. So I want you to understand that this needs to be 10 centimeter and so does this so that when they connect together, it would fit. I help you guys later on when you start making your model and I want you guys to get into practice measuring things out even though this is all done for you already. The next part is to start cutting um, everything, um, the shape out, okay? So like I said, using a craft knife, put it on the lock mode and then start cutting one shape at a time. Uh, don't rush your work, it's really important you keep it as nice and neat as possible, okay? When you're cutting at first, it will feel really um, hard to get a clean line out like this. Um, but you should also check behind let me just put my knife back in it actually hasn't cut through so it's barely actually cut through so when you first start out um you need to press hard but not in a way that will hurt your finger when you're pressing down um you need to slice it up um, go over it a few times on that very same line to help you get a really neat outline when you place your ruler just make sure you don't move it keep it nice and still okay so i'm just going to show that to you how i'm going to go back in holding my ruler very, very still and get my craft knife out, okay? And I'm just gonna go over that line that I started on and then pressing a little bit, going over that same line over and over again. <coughs> Use the same amount of pressure so that way you got a really clean cut, okay? And eventually you should be able to fill this sort of rubbery texture when you're cutting through. So I'm just going to show you what that's like. And um, you can then see it's now completely cut through. Okay, so once you finish cutting out all of the shapes, um, as you can see, it says times two. So we've only got one side of the wall there. So we do need another side of the wall to join up. So that's why you will need to cut another one of this. Um, you can just simply get uh, your template. Um, you can get a pen and just trace around the outline. And then once you trace the outline, the outline you just, again, use your craft knife to cut out the shape. So one of the things I've done uh, when I cut out the door one, um, I want to use that as a template to guide me where I want the door to go. So I'm going to do a dash line, meaning that needs to be a fold, and thick outlines like this, meaning that needs to be cut out. I went over my outlines with a ruler just to make sure that the lines that I've traced out is uh, straight. 
Um, right, so to make this fold, I basically use the blunt side of the knife. So we usually use this side of the knife to cut. Instead, we use this side. So we just turn it to the side like this and you just get your metal ruler and just um, score it across like this a good few times. You don't really need to press hard, just normal pressure. It will come up with like these textured marks, as you can see, these scraping marks. That's okay because if you think about it, when you put your house together, it'll be from this side rather than with all the lines here because your door will open this way round. What you wanna do is cut these shapes out, which will be used to join up all the templates, the parts of the houses together, okay? 